Now overseas, staying overseas, Russian officials say that the death toll is rising following Friday's horrific terror attack at a concert hall in Moscow. At least 139 people have been killed, with nearly 200 more injured after gunmen stormed one of the largest shopping and entertainment complexes in Russia with automatic weapons. Police say four suspects are in custody and they face terrorism charges. ISIS has claimed responsibility, and Putin has now said that the attack was in fact perpetrated by radical Islamists. But Putin continues to cast doubt on whether ISIS was the perpetrator or acted alone. Let's bring in our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, who's tracking this story. Martha, the United States, through various channels, trying to con convince everyone that there's supposedly no trace of Ukraine in this attack. How can they do that? Well, I think they will just say again and again, Terry, that they have intelligence uh, that it was ISIS. And when you look at the warning that the U.S. gave uh, not only Americans living in Russia or visiting Russia, but the Russians themselves from two weeks ago, they had intelligence that ISIS-K, ISIS Khorasan, this, this branch out of Afghanistan, was going to attack, that an attack was imminent to a place where large crowds gather specifically saying it could be a concert hall. So they can say, look, we, we told you two weeks ago this was going to happen. In, in terms of trying to convince them it wasn't Ukraine, they've just basically, we've heard the vice president even say, tell our Rachel Scott, there's absolutely no evidence it was Ukraine. Now, are you ever going to convince Russia of that? Maybe not. They've got four suspects now. They say two uh, pleaded guilty to the crime, but we've also seen uh, the pictures of those suspects, and they were bloodied and uh, badly beaten, clearly, uh, and Russia is not denying that those men were tortured. They are wearing similar outfits when they were uh, captured to those gunmen in the video that we've seen again and again. That is not a suspect there. That is clearly someone who was injured. Uh, but it, it's it's one of those things that it, you can't prove a negative, but the U.S. will keep trying. Right. And I, I do want to just follow up on that, Martha, because in the in the cutting of the pipeline, uh, you know, in, in, in the Baltic Sea there, uh, there was a sense uh, at first that Ukraine had nothing to do with it, and then intelligence later showed that, in fact, they did. And they have essentially backed Russian uh, opponents of Putin launching attacks into Russia. So does the United, the United States, can, as you say, can't prove a negative. Are they confident that really Ukraine, which is fighting this war, fighting for its survival, had nothing to do with this? I, I think they are confident, Terry, and I'm not sure what... what Ukrainians would gain by slaughtering and, and making the world look at uh, the innocent people who were slaughtered in Russia. I'm not sure what, you, what Ukraine would gain from them. I, all, all I can tell you is that the intelligence people we have spoken to feel very confident about this, that it was ISIS. There is video of uh, four gunmen standing in front of an ISIS flag, and uh, I, I think we'll learn more about that in the coming days. A great point. Th thank you. So for people who are wondering, wait, ISIS, Russia, why does ISIS want to hit Russia? What, what can they gain from this? Well, ISIS wants to hit anybody who they feel is against them and their radical form of Islam, extremely radical form of Islam. They don't like the Taliban and they feel uh, that Russia does side with the Taliban, plus Russia's involvement in Syria. It's all about going against anybody who they feel is going against them. And that is a very long list, Terry. For sure. Martha Raddatz staying on this story. Thanks very much. You bet. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.